What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to LBPostSports.com. It's JJ, and there was one place to be in the LBC on Thursday night. Inside the mid as Long Beach State takes on Cal State Fullerton. The rivalry renewed once again. Some of Long Beach's finest in the visitor's ear all night long. Near capacity crowd, ruckus to say the least. Hoping that these 49ers can continue to turn that corner after big wins last week against Northridge and UC Davis. In the early going, Niners riding that momentum, drawing some charges, playing some defense, and that defense quickly turned into some offense as the on-ball pressure steal from Casper Ware looks for Larry Anderson, finds Larry Anderson. 21 for the quick deuce, and the Niners were off and running. Eugene Phelps getting involved, and you can't talk about the play inside the paint without talking about that guy. Hard gosh darn work from TJ Robinson. Two of his team high seven in the first half. Phelps, animal. And how about a little fan favorite, Fleming. 16-13 Long Beach State early on. But the Titans came charging back and the bigger story in the paint in the first half was Bryce Webster. Four for eight from the field, nine points, seven rebounds, that and one. A couple threes from the Titans and then Aaron Thompson getting involved. Zero was four for four from the field in the first half, nine points, and with one of his two steals, puts the cherry on top, a 13-2 run for the Titans at the end of the half, 36-24. In the second stanza, it was, well, much like the first, but a little bit more relaxed. Long Beach was able to take some better shots, kept playing some good defense, and still got out on the run as Casper Ware goes to the 10 for two, and Larry Anderson with a little step back, yes please, thank you very much, right back in it. 36-38. How about Big Fleming getting involved on the offensive end? 5-0, the fifth year senior. Six points off the bench in just a few good minutes. And right here to tie it at 50 with eight minutes left in the second half. But that's when the tides would change and changing them was Gerard Anderson. Killed the beach in the first game, doing it again in this one. Second half, transition points, 12 for number five. And it all changed in a flash as Long Beach State down by three with about seven minutes left. Casper Ware looking like he gets this too, but injures himself in the process, cramping in his foot. Fullerton coming the other way. A killer offensive rebound right here, an easy deuce. And then an ill-advised three from Long Beach, two for 18 from behind the arc. In this one, a lot of those for the beach. And then the Titans right back to it. That's all it's gonna take for a four point swing. And in a close game like that, that could be the killer, as Jockey Streeter a little hmm, dipsy doodle for the four-point lead. So how do you get back in a game like this? Defense, baby. Casper Ware with the steal. Cookies coast to coast. 2-2 two -two for two of his 20. He said his ankle hurt more on offense, so he just played more defense. Again, Ware with the quick hands. Anderson, Ware happy about it. Anderson going to the tin, and he's happy about it too. And Long Beach State, after a defensive stop, gonna get their last shot. And the Maniac's happy about it. So Ware, seconds, gets one. Toughy, just short, We're going to overtime 64-64. In the extra stanza, it went back and forth as Anderson puts in two of his 20, but it was all about Thompson. Agent zero, eight for eight from the field, three for three from behind the arc for a game high 23. And Gerard Anderson, again, just killing the beach at the worst times. The and one. More bad shooting from Long Beach, 42% from the field on the night at home, not gonna do it. And Thompson, another cherry on top. 75-81, Cal State Fullerton victorious in the mid. Fullerton now in fourth place, Long Beach State drops down to fifth place in the Big West as we head into the second round of conference play.